Welcome to Tech Learning. In this video, we will explore some important communication protocols used in industrial automation and instrumentation. Let's start the video. Modbus Protocol Modbus is a data communication protocol developed by Modicon. It allows devices to transmit information over serial lines, Ethernet, or wireless networks. Modbus uses a master-slave architecture, where one device initiates a request and the other responds. Modbus can implement three types of transmission modes. Modbus RTU, Modbus ASCII, and Modbus TCP IP. It is the most widely used network protocol in the industrial manufacturing sector. Ethernet PowerLink Ethernet PowerLink is an open real-time Ethernet protocol, mainly used for factory automation and process control. Ethernet PowerLink is a real-time protocol for standard Ethernet that enables the transfer of time-critical data in short cycles. CC Link or Control in Communication Link It is a high-speed protocol primarily used in Asia. It is developed by Mitsubishi for data communication in industrial automation. CC Link is a network protocol connecting automation devices using a single cable. CC Link uses high level data link control HDLC and the master slave method. HART Communication Protocol HART stands for Highway Addressable Remote Transducer Protocol. It is used in industrial process control and measurement. HART is a hybrid protocol that can send and receive digital information on 4 to 20 mA current loop. HART uses frequency shift keying FSK technique. Backnet Protocol Backnet is known as Building Automation and Control Networks. Backnet is a data communication protocol developed by ASHRAE. It is primarily used in building automation to control HVAC, lighting, and access control. ASI Protocol ASI stands for Actuator Sensor Interface, an industrial networking protocol that connects sensors and actuators to a controller. ASI is easy to install, cost-effective, and efficient. ASI uses a two-wire unshielded cable for both power and data communication, making it easy to install and reducing wiring costs. ASI operates on a master-slave network architecture. OPC UA Protocol OPC UA stands for Open Platform Communications Unified Architecture. It is a machine-to-machine -machine communication protocol. It enables data exchange between devices, systems, and software applications. OPC UA is not dependent on any specific platform. Major characteristics of OPC UA are platform independence, enhanced security, advanced data modeling, and scalability. Control Net Protocol Control Net is an open industrial network protocol developed by Alan Bradley. ControlNet is a member of the family of CIP, Common Industrial Protocol. ControlNet is particularly designed to handle high-speed, deterministic, and real-time data transfer, which is essential for automation processes that require precise timing, such as motion control, remote I.O., and safety systems. Device Net Protocol Device Net Network Protocol is used in industrial automation. DeviceNet is developed by Alan Bradley. It is used to data exchange data between field devices and programmable logic controller or PLC. It uses the controller area network or CAN technology. It also uses the common industrial protocol CIP in its upper layers. It supports multi-drop configuration, meaning multiple devices can be connected in parallel on the same cable, simplifying wiring and installation. Foundation Fieldbus Protocol Foundation Fieldbus Protocol is a digital serial, two-way communications protocol. Foundation Fieldbus enables field instruments to communicate with each other and with a control system. Foundation Fieldbus Protocol has two types, Foundation Fieldbus H1 and Foundation Fieldbus HSE. Foundation Fieldbus has multi-drop capabilities, reducing wiring costs and providing network simplicity. Foundation Fieldbus transmits data digitally, which improves accuracy and reduces signal degradation. EtherCAT Protocol EtherCAT, 
or Ethernet for control automation technology. Designed for high-speed real-time data transfer and precise timing control. EtherCAD developed by Beckoff Automation, designed specifically for high-speed, deterministic, and synchronized data exchange. EtherCAD uses unique principle, called processing on the fly. Where data packets are read and written as they pass through each node, minimizing delay. Each node processes only relevant data, leading to very efficient communication. We have Ethernet protocol. Ethernet is a networking protocol used for wired local area networks, LANs. Ethernet breaks data into packets called frames. Ethernet uses unique identifiers known as MAC, media access control, addresses to ensure that data reaches the correct device on the network. Ethernet supports various physical topologies like star, bus, or ring. Can open protocol. Can open is a real time, can based protocol. Can open is known for its reliable and real time data handling. It provides flexible network management, making it suitable for complex, distributed control systems. Commonly used in automation systems, motion control, like robotics, medical industries, automotive industries, and marine industry. Profinet Protocol Profinet Protocol is designed to exchange fast data between Ethernet-based field devices. It is designed to be fast and reliable, especially for time-critical tasks. It can support various network topologies. It operates on standard Ethernet hardware, such as CAT6 or CAT5 cables. There are two communication modes within the Profinet. Profinet RT, real-time, and Profinet IRT, isochronous real-time. Profinet RT is suited for most real-time needs. While Profinet IRT is targeted for applications that demand high-precision Profibus protocol. Profibus protocol is serial communication protocol. It allow reliable data exchange between control systems and field devices. There are two Profibus types. Profibus DP, decentralized peripherals, and Profibus PA, process automation. Profibus DP is used in factory automation for fast communication between central controllers and field devices. It support data exchange rate up to 12 megabits per second. Profibus PA suited for process industries, especially hazardous areas. It is a two-wire system for both power and data. It operates on slower speed at 31.25 kilobits per second, aligning with hazardous environment requirements, and offers Thanks for watching. We hope you found this video helpful and informative. If you like the video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more content. See you in the next video, where we'll explore more exciting topics in the world of automation.